Hi guys, welcome to this month's battle report. Now you remember the beginning of the month I attended a Volt Action tournament. Well, in this battle report I'm going to be pitching my tournament list against one of the other competitors, Dan, his German tournament list. Uh, I came away with two losses and a win and he had two wins and a draw. So we'll see how my US list does against his German list. Okay, so we'll show you the armies first. Okay, so first up we'll do the German list. So it's one second lieutenant plus one man, both with SMGs. Three eight-man regular infantry squads with the SMG and the LMG. One eight-man pioneer squad with NCO with SMG, two extra SMGs and a flamethrower. A medium mortar team with spotter. Uh, a regular Howling Cow, a regular anti-tank rifle team, a regular Panzer III, a regular 233 armoured car, which has a light howitzer and a medium machine gun, and a regular multi-year half-track with an MMG. And then my US list. Is first lieutenant plus one man with SMGs, five eight man regular infantry squads, NCO with SMG and a BAR in each squad. And then we've got a M2A1 medium artillery plus a spotter, medium mortar plus a spotter, regular flamethrower team, regular bazooka team. A regular two and a half ton truck with an MMG and a regular Stuart with the Rec A upgrade. So that's the lists. But well, roll it for the missions. Number one. <laughs> So, table set up and units are deployed. I've got six units on the table. There's two squads there, the howitzer there, another squad, mortar, and the fourth squad there. And the Germans are all bunched up nicely there. But there's that beasting howling cow over there. That's why my units are spread out so much. And these are in reserve. And Dan's got six units in reserve as well. Alright, so we're about to start first turn. Let's see how we go. I'm on a roll for preliminary bombardment. Hey, it comes in. What did you score? You scored the four as well, didn't you? Yeah, so preliminary bombardments are coming in. So let's see how many pins we end up with. Hey, okay, refugee bombardment done. And I managed to put two pins on every German unit. Including the Howling Cow, which is absolutely bizarre. Uh, they escaped one pin, they got two pins, they escaped two pins and one pin for the US. Okay, now it's time to draw the order dice and let's see how it happens. Turn one. Okay, so that's the end of the first turn. Uh, this squad moved up to the hedge there. And shot that squad there, managed yeah. to kill three of them. I was quite amazed, amazed with that. Uh, that mortar and this mortar exchanged shots, but just uh, missed. But they're both there, zeroed in for next turn. And Dan just rallied all of his units, so he's got no pins on anything now. Um, I'm okay. I've got one pin on that unit there, two on this one, this one failed. It's uh, or the test and did so they just they stayed where they are. But apart from that, oh that squad moved up around that way. So that turn two. That's the end of the second turn. Uh, there's another mortar duel and I managed to get the German mortar. Um, however, Concentrated fire from the Germans has reduced this squad down to three men, two pins on. 
Chuck come out, Mottier come on there, and the Pioneers come out. And I hate playing throws and Pioneers, so I, I tried my best to take them out, but I managed to do much damage. The Panzer Fours come on, and shot at this squad here. The uh, Howling Cow fired, unlucky enough, he rolled all ones to hit, so I didn't take any damage from that. He took, come on here, the HQ's got out to support these because he failed the test again, it went down. And I've left these still in reserve. And the, uh, the Rad 8 failed its all the test to come on, and that's still in reserve. Okay, so let's go for turn three. That's the end of that turn. The Germans have made an advance on this side, all moving up. That squad didn't do anything, went down. They've moved forward, managed to manage to take another one out. That moved forward. These, again, the Howling Cow fired at these and rolled low again, didn't hit. Uh, I don't think Luck's going to survive another turn now. This squad managed to move forward but got minced on the hill. That truck moved forward over there. The bazooka team got out, fired at the Panzer IV, which had moved forward, did nothing. The Stuart came on, fired at the Panzer IV, did nothing. The howitzer fired first before the squad moved and managed to hit and put a pin. Is it two pins it put on the Panzer? Two pins, the howitzer. And then that squad's moved up. And that's the end of that turn. Now we'll go for turn four. To so the end of that turn, and the Germans are getting really close. That unit went down again, they're still there. <laughs> they advanced, shot at the pioneers, and didn't do anything. The truck moved up, the flamethrower team got out. Point blank range, I rolled the one. Can you believe that? So I think whoever gets the first load of dice out here is going to use the flamethrower on the opponents. And guess what? It won't be me. He's <laughs> all moved up. Uh, I lost. Oh. <laughs> I lost my bazooka team to the machine gun on the truck. Uh, the Rad 8 finally came on and fired at the bazooka team. But didn't do anything, but the truck managed to do it. The Stuart fired at the Panzer 4, managed to pin it. Uh, then Dan went to move it and failed the order test. Went back, which is behind the hill in the woods, and so it's out of sight. I can't shoot it. I My howitzer fired in the left oh, at the howling cow. Uh, Missed, uh, but uh, it's fired uh, next turn. Uh, notable uh, moments in the game. The Pioneer squad assaulted my regular Flamer squad. We managed to get one kill, and I rolled five and six back. So I won. Yeah, he had three SMGs. And they were veterans. And the veterans regulars. against regulars, and my two regular flamethrowers managed to kill the six man veteran pioneer squad. <laughs> yeah, look at the draw. So let's come back at the end of turn five. Okay, that's the end of turn five. A uh, change of fortunes. I've lost quite a few units to concentrated fire from the Germans. They shoot move forward and shot at the uh, about eight, which wrecked out of the way. Cheat. Uh, truck moved. It, the flame shot throw team rallied, uh, moved forward, and then advanced and shot at that squad. And only killed, oh, killed, managed to kill three with the flamethrower. Then got gunned down by his HQ. Um, that squad is completely gone. Concentrated fire on them. These two squads are moving up. The Stuarts moved up. And I lost the crew off the howitzer. Got hit by the howling cow. Finally managed to get a six. Uh, but it was on the spotter. And it put three pins on the spotter. But, and yeah, managed to kill that. So, got to turn five before the Howling Cow did anything, which is unusual. That is just the end. So, just look. So, at the moment, it's two German dice, and I lost five US dice. So, let's go with turn six and see what happens. Okay, so the end of that turn. Uh, these are shot, I've lost the mortar team. Four, five, four, six. 
from 12 out of 16 is a 7 turn. No, no, so game's over. Yeah. So we'll do the total up of the dice in a second. So these, his HQ advanced and shot at the squad. My HQ advanced and shot at them. My truck shot at them. That unit on the bridge shot at them. Trying to get rid of them so I'd be closer, but he brought his rad eight up anyway. That squad advanced over and shot at the truck. Didn't put a pin on it, but didn't manage to do anything. And then this turned up with its flaming little howitzer and machine guns and took seven of the eight guys out of it. The Stuart advanced to point blank range. I missed bad crew on that Stuart. And the Panzer fired back. Two hits. I did exceptional and put four pins on, set it on fire, but it managed to extinguish it. And we'll just have a look at the daughter's scores. So Germans lost three and I lost two, four, six. So it's win for the Germans. Oh, I forgot. I managed to get the air. Uh, managed to take the how and cow. What did what did they get the how and cow? Oh the, the machine guns on the steward managed to take out the how and cow. So it's a victory for the Germans. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hi guys, so that's it, game over. And it was a resounding victory for the Germans. 6-3 uh, um, victory points. I'll just give you some quick thoughts on how I thought the game went. I started off well. I spread my forces out um, due to um, Dan having the Howling Cow with the multi-launchers you got to be really careful about bunching up your units close together. However, I didn't know his Howling Gow was going to be so ineffective and not actually landing a hit with it until turn five. The threat of the Howling Cow had me spread out thin. So the two squads that he had on the left-hand side of the table spent most of the game up until probably turn four or five moving across the board, not doing anything until he could get within range because he quite cleverly bunched all his units up onto the right, my right-hand side. So that was a good tactic on his part. Um, I need to come up with a way of dealing with the Howling Cow. I mean, if it lands, it potentially can devastate your entire army. So what I might do is I might, next time put the five units out in the centre <clears throat> in a conga line. So instead of them being spread out horizontally across the table, I actually line them up vertical. That way they'll all be roughly central and hopefully I'll be able to move them all and get some effective firing down because his howling cow pretty much shut down my um, ability to fire and where I would normally concentrate my fire on two or three units a turn to, to pin them down and remove them from the game I was unable to make that level of fire uh, so he was able to recover and fight back without his units being locked down with pins okay guys hope you enjoyed the game see you all next time